May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Cuke Audio mini podcast. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship, and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So today's mini podcast is going to be uh, another one where uh, you will hear a brief excerpt from a Shunryu Suzuki lecture. Uh, Now, I did the first one of those last week or uh, sometime uh, one on, on breathing uh, that, uh, oh, I know, I had taken a little bit out of it for, uh, um, I'm, I'm you, the reason I have these is I, I made uh, what I call about 20 snippets from his lectures, and I worked on them and got them to sound as good as I could in a, in a program called Audacity. Uh, because what I did is in the audio book for Crooked Cucumber, each chapter and the introduction and the introduction to the audio book and the, the last one, the epilogue, they all have a little brief snippet of Suzuki Roshi talking before uh, it ends. And there's an ending bell, just the same big deep bell I end uh, the podcast with. Uh, so uh, the the one on breathing I did last week. Oh, and and when it went up, somehow I don't know what it didn't have the audio on it. I I I I, I, I don't know what happened. I I didn't even know I could upload without the audio. But you know, I make a lot of careless errors like that and get emails saying, "Hey, you know, there's various things." I won't go into it. <laughs> I'm much more. Uh, prone to uh, careless error now than I was, I think, in earlier years. Uh, weird, because I'm a lot more sober now. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, hey, you, you, those of you that are thinking of uh, sobering up, doesn't help. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> um, so um, I had I had one on counting breaths where he talks about well now I want us to uh, get to some uh, back to some simple practice and and it's very fundamental and Bodhidharma did it and it's classic and all that counting breaths and I took some of that I, I liked the I liked what I had but it was about two minutes long and I wasn't using anything that long. Uh, and you know, I took like forty-five seconds out or something for the uh, for the audio book. Maybe it was over two minutes. Maybe it was three minutes long. But then I liked the whole thing, and I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll put it on a podcast. And then afterwards, you know, uh, 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 people said some people probably Peter Ford, who I work with, or Wendy, who I work with, Wendy Piercy. Or my wife, good drinker. Somebody said, hey, that's good. You ought to do it more. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is put up all, one by one, all the snippets is what I was calling them. That's, uh, you know, Shunyu Suzuki lecture, uh, brief lecture excerpts that I used for the book. So on uh, Saturday, I I put the in, uh, did a podcast that had the introduction to the audio book, the whole introduction. And uh, that had the first snippet. And then I got an email today saying he couldn't understand it. And Ted, I think it's pretty clear. He says, all right, here's what he says. Now, he doesn't say TH very well. Jap- it's not, there's not a TH in Japanese, so they tend to say an S. Like, so the truth for us, he, say, oh, he almost says truth, but a little bit truce. The truth for us 
is the same as uh, uh, it was for Shakyamuni Buddha. No. Uh, hmm. Let me go back and let's do it so I can say it right. Okay, he said, the truth, which is the truth for us, is the same truth as it was even for Shakyamuni Buddha. There is no difference. It's so sweet the way he says it. So you can go back and listen to the Saturday podcast, Introduction to the Audiobook for Crooked Cucumber. And just go to the very end of it. That's the very end. Last thing before the bell. Oh, no, then I come on and just say, uh, that wasn't the end, this is the end, and I say this has been a Cuke Audio podcast. Um, so uh, that was the one for the, uh, that's the, the first one. And I did the one with breathing, but I didn't do the short one. I, I did a longer one, right? So I'll probably do it again when it comes in order. So here's the what, what he has to say, uh, the snippet we used at the end of the first, uh, of the introduction to the book, not the first uh, chapter. And the introduction to the book ends with the, uh, my meeting with uh, his wife, his widow, Mitsu Suzuki, to get her blessing for working on a, a book about him. And I was very nervous going to her because that was really the key. I was worried about, you know, people not wanting me to do it or whatever. Uh, but uh, she was very, very supportive. And it's very funny what she had to say. So I was looking for some quote from him. But after that, uh, just in the audio book, it's not in the book, right? Uh, and I thought, oh, let's go find something where he talks about his wife. Now, one thing is in looking for quotes, a lot of the lectures there's no audio for anymore. Uh, and also, a lot of the audio isn't good enough to use. So I had to get a combination of, of an audio that's good enough to use and where he's talking about his wife, and I found it. So here it is. While I was talking with some students, I, I was talking about, you know, my relationship to my wife. <laughs> I have many complaints <laughs> about her. <laughs> but I cannot no, I, I don't think I can live with, without her. <laughs> that is, you know, mm, you know, what I really feel. All right, that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> uh, um, you know, uh, I have said, I have quoted Maizumi, Taizan Maizumi, a few times. And it's in, it's, no, it's not in the book, I don't think, no. Could have put it in the book, but I didn't. Maybe it'll be in, in Notes on Crooked Cucumber, which is, something I'm working on that'll at least be online as a supplement to the audio book and to the book or whatever. Um, and that's when uh, Maizumi says, you know, one distinct, and he wasn't the only person that said this. He wasn't the only Japanese person that said it. And it was significant Japanese people said this. I know Ryo Yamada said it. Uh, is uh, one very unusual thing about Shunya Suzuki was his relationship with his wife. Uh, it was very close, and uh, it was a very equal sort of basis, you know. Uh, they were like a real team. Hmm. So uh, <laughs> you can hear that a little bit in what he's saying. He, he actually said once, he, he'd heard the phrase, can't live with her, can't live without her. So he, he used that. I didn't, I didn't get that one here. I just got what he said here. Anyway, pretty neat, huh? Okay. 
Well, this has been a Cuke Audio mini podcast. I'm D.C. Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives, coming to you from Sleepy Sonur with Dog and Bandita, Feline Cuchita, and dear lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening.